All month long, we have been bringing awareness to breast cancer, and here to tell us why Breast Cancer Awareness Month is so critical for patients and families is Dr. Omar Awan, professor of radiology at the University of Maryland and a Forbes contributor. And welcome, Dr. Awan. Good to see you. Great to see you, Melanie. So tell us, why is it so important to continue to bring awareness to breast cancer year after year? Well, I think screening is so important. You know, the United States Preventive Services Task Force just recently revised their guidelines for screening mammograms and recommend now that women at the age of 40 start to get screened. And we know through research that screening at the age of 40 saves lives compared to no screening at all. And in fact, it can save lives and decrease deaths by up to 40 percent. And that's a huge number. So highly recommend all women if you're age 40 and above please go see your doctor and please get screened with a mammogram. A great message there. And, you know, women, they've always been the focus of attention when it comes to breast cancer. But more and more, we're hearing men are at risk for breast cancer as well. Can you talk a little about that? Absolutely. So it's interesting because men can also get breast cancer. Men also have, you know, breast tissue. And although it's much more rare, you know, out of every 100 cases that get diagnosed with breast cancer, one is attributed to a man. So certainly there is a risk and, you know, men are interesting because often, you know, they get diagnosed later. You know, the average age of getting diagnosed for a man is about 68, whereas for a woman, it's 62. And that's often because men don't understand and aren't aware of the symptoms associated with breast cancer. So we must uh, be spread awareness and make sure that everyone is aware so that we can decrease breast cancer rates throughout the country. Is there a difference when it comes to males and females uh, when you see breast cancer develop? Well, I think the symptoms are pretty similar. Typically, you'll feel a lump in your breast. You may have red or flaky skin around the breast. You may have nipple discharge, dimpling of the nipple. Those are all similar. But I think what's different is, is that the age of onset, uh, you know, with males being at 68, women being at 62, and also the demographics is a little different. You know, white women are most commonly going to be diagnosed with breast cancer in America, but it's actually black men that will be most commonly diagnosed with breast cancer in America. Um, so really important for all of us to spread awareness, make sure we understand what the symptoms are. And if there are any issues, go see your doctor and get that mammogram. And for both men and women, what are some things that we can do every day that should decrease our risk of getting it? Well, there are certain risk factors that are associated with breast cancer, you know, some that we can't control, like, you know, family history, uh, you know, having certain genetic mutations, but certain things like obesity and alcohol are things that we can control. So we know that, you know, uh, being physically inactive, being obese, and then also, you know, drinking alcohol all put you at risk for breast cancer, whether you're a male or a female. So very important for all of us to watch, you know, those drinks and also try to take great care of ourselves and exercise regularly. Uh, you know, Doctor, uh, you also wrote an article about um, how AI could actually transform breast imaging. That sounds very interesting. Can you tell us a little about it? Yeah, I think AI has a huge potential to save lives. You know, there has been research that shows that, you know, when breast radiologists use AI to diagnose and detect cancer, they're able to detect more cancers. And that ultimately is going to save more lives because if more cancers are being detected by mammograms, we have the opportunity to screen people earlier, diagnose it earlier, treat it earlier, and then ultimately save lives. So really fascinating, really interesting. And I think that it will completely change the landscape of bringing breast cancer rates and deaths down as time goes on. A very hopeful uh, use of AI. Thank you so much, UMD radiologist, Dr. Omar Awan. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Sure. Well, we are dealing